thought that 6 to 7.5 million Americans experience some type of stalking across the country each and every year. And m Central Texas is now working to educate their student body about the warning signs. Here's 25 News reporter Leah McNeil. Terrified. Um, you're, you're a victim and you can't get away. Nothing you do you can't get away from it. A previous neighbor constantly stalked Jamie Kennedy and her family to the point where she had to move and then still was followed and harassed. The fear still lingers today. Do you trust if somebody behind me? Are you on high alert? You know, and you shouldn't have to feel that way ever. It's not a one time um, event. Uh, you can experience the aftershocks of, of, of feelings of being stalked. There are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to stalking. Most people think that it's just someone following you and making you feel a little bit uncomfortable, but it can be something as simple as continuous, unsolicited phone calls. You can mean it as kind of like a joke, but it's not at all. It's like I said, it's meant to really make somebody feel unsafe and make them feel threatened, to make them feel isolated, to get them away from people. Through pamphlets and webinars, Paul York, the deputy Title IX coordinator, says they work to educate students and staff on all types of stalking and provide extended support for victims. From the time that we are, that a referral is shared with us um, or the information is shared with us, all the way up through that person graduating um, and even potentially coming back. Um, and so uh, it's never, it never stops. It's a, it's a continual amount of support that we offer. Even though her incidents happened before her time at the university, as a new warrior on campus, it brings Kennedy comfort knowing that the university takes stalking seriously. You know, having that advocacy out there, it's hard, you know, when no one else is listening to know you do have a place that someone is listening. Reporting in Colleen, Leah McNeil, 25 News.